Welcome. Today I am with IKEA Symphonisk bookshelf speaker and I will show you how you can connect this speaker with your phone. So it will look the same on the Android and iOS. At the first you have to remember to be connected to the Wi-Fi network or mobile data. Also we have to enable Bluetooth and location on your phone. After that you have to move for the Play Store or iOS, tap on the search pool and type Sonos. We have to get this application, you will find it on the Play Store and on the App Store. The installation process might be a little bit different between these two devices, but the application itself looks the same. So when the download is finished, as you can see, we can open this application. Right now you have to remember to plug this speaker to the electricity. When you make it, uh, this LED will light on the white a little bit. Right now it's blinking as you can see. So in the next step we can set up a new system or join to the existing one. I'm going to set up the new system. We can create account or just sign in with our own. And I would like to create a new account. So we have to right now input the password. Oh, I mean our email. I'm going to use this one and then we have to go for the password. So I'm going to input out of the camera. And when you input your password, click outside to hide your keyboard and tap right here to accept the privacy statement and click to create an account. As you can see right now, we can smoothly move to the email and find this email to take confirm. I mean, just confirm the sign in with our account. So I'm gonna open my mail right now. Okay, and as you can see, you will find this Sonos mail and you have to verify your email address. So you have to click here, use the Sonos application and as you can see, our account is set up. Click here. Right now we have to set the location. So pick your current location. In my case, head to Poland. Click to continue. We have to input our postal code. So of course, let me just do this right here. And click continue at the bottom. Go forward. And that's it. When you make it, you will get this kind of the window and you have to accept permission to the location. Click down. As you can see, everything is set. So right now we can select with our device. As you can see right now, <clears throat> I don't even have to, <clears throat> I'm sorry for that. I don't even have to just look for the device. It just pops automatically on the screen. So probably in your case, it will happen the same. But I can tap outside. I can just click to close without snows. And if you don't get this notifications, you can tap here to add your device. Click continue. We can allow access to the microphone. Now just be patient and wait a little bit. Right now we have to connect with this network. Let's confirm connection. We are connected successfully. Okay, and as you can see right now, our phone and speaker synchronize. And the last steps, in the last step, we have to input the password to our Wi-Fi network. And this, in the phone, we are connected to this network. I mean, we were connected, but right now we have to switch 
uh, to the configuration process but normally I'm connected with this network and you have to input the same network to your speaker so we can only use the speaker when you're connected to this Wi-Fi network and you have to input the password of it <clears throat> so I'm going to make it also uh, out of the camera when you click connect you will get this window and you have to just wait okay as you can see right now we can put the place where we use our device I'm actually in the office so I'm going to put it here tap to continue Okay, let's click down and looks like we are connected. We can check for our system devices. As you can see when we make it, when we go for the system devices, now we can find our device. It's the Symphonisk Book Self. So as you can see that's how we can connect. And right now if you want to play songs, we can check the Sonos radio. Um, we can find here uh, this kind of the radio stations so when you click to play yeah uh, exactly tick that box but Ole Gunnar Solskjaer towards the end was among the least respected top level top flight coaches across Europe so yeah, as you can see right now, we are successfully connected and the sound is coming out from our speaker. So basically that's how you can connect the speaker to your phone, Android or iOS. If you find this video helpful, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe.